Hello again, welcome to Nobody's Plays Minecraft. What the heck? Oh, Saucer's been busy. Uh, Nobody's Plays Minecraft here on Decidedly Vanilla. I don't want to show off too much because I'm not sure what he's uploaded yet and when this is actually going to be uploaded. Um, I'm hoping the video looks better from last time. Um, here we go. Um, I really wanted to get a village sorter done. Uh, Mr. Filioff? Filioff? I can pronounce it when I'm not on camera. That's trying to get it. Um, when I overthink it is when the problem. But Filioff? 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 Uh, go to his video and watch it. He says his name in the beginning of every one. He'll, he'll tell you the correct pronunciation of his name. Uh, he's got a really cool village sorter that I wanted to borrow. I'm using his quad village breeder. Um, and it is awesome. I just want to get uh, them sorted, so it's kind of a package deal. So if you do one of them, you should probably do both. Otherwise, you're going to have the mess I have. I was like, oh, I'll get to it later. And, yeah, I did not. So what we're going to have to do is get this here. Um, it has to be 32 blocks from our village, which I think I did the math on here. We're at 75 here. So if it's 32 blocks, it's going to be... 30 is going to be 2, and then 4 is going to be 4. Oh, we're well over. Okay, that should be fine then. Yeah. Okay, so we should be good on that. I think uh, the biggest thing I'm going to need is a bunch of gold for powered rails. Where I don't think I have much on me, so we may have to go caving for gold. I really want to set up like a zombie pigman farm. But I think, I think turtle eggs is the way to go with that, which I need silk touch, which I don't have. Um, we got a bunch of potatoes though, so that's good. I don't have any. Uh, I don't know if I have villagers that trade properly for silk touch yet. I'm looking for gold here. Is the main thing right now. Um, nope. Nope. Gold should be in the first part. I'm guessing if I had any uh, unsmelted gold. I know I have some gold in the other stuff. I think we'll just smelt these and get the nuggets. It's not much, but I think we'll take that. And we got some. We need some slime. We got that. Thirty-seven. We should be good. I was gonna do sixteen at first. Twenty-six string. We should be good. Um, I'm going to take these because we're going to make some uh, torches. We'll take the coal for now, too. Um, we'll throw that in there for now. Okay, so I'm going to get that going, and we'll sleep, and I will see you, hopefully, in a quick little bit when we have some gold. So let's take this off of here. Oh, that just went in the sorter. Dang, nabbit! Okay, we'll sleep and find that. All right, we found a cave, and I'm pretty sure it's one Kane's been in. You know, I dug the opposite way, or is this one I've been in? I really can't tell. Um, let's just explore this a bit, because I don't think I was grabbing gold before. That looks like a cane thing there. I normally wouldn't do that. So I think we're going to win a cane's caves. Because I heard water, so I dug to it. Maybe it's one I found that was underwater like this. Okay, let's see where we come out on the surface here. Because that'll help determine where we're at for sure. Um, no, we're at my base. So this is probably one I found. Yeah, I guess Kane's place is that way by a bit. So I think we're good to keep exploring here. But again, we're still looking for gold. Definitely nothing yet, which is very... No, yeah, this is one I did. Okay, never mind. Well, I dug my way back to the ravine. <laughs> I came in here, here. One of these down here. I ended up back in the main ravine, so... Um, we're here, so I guess that's good. Um, now I need to get... Well, we need to still... F Ow! Still find gold. Uh, a lot of it. I found three which isn't going to be nearly enough. Uh, but from here, though, we can actually toss in all our redstone and such. Do I have a chest up here? No, this is just the water stream. It's not an actual chest, which is fine. Just hoping this would be a little bit easier, but it looks like now we just got to kind of wait. Um, this will get the stuff back at the top, so I don't have to worry about coming to the sorter. So here we go. Throw that in, throw that in, throw that in. Um... Potatoes fine. Coal's fine. There we go. That will eventually work. There we go. Put the little stuff up front. That way it goes away. 
Everything else will fill in. Put that in there. Good, good, good. There we go. Okay, so that'll be fine because we just have to wait for the one. These go to go away first, and then they'll have to then pick that stuff up. Okay, so we're still short on gold by a lot. Um, yeah, I got three, <laughs> and that's gonna give us well, essentially, it's one per rail. So, oh, this that was dumb. I shot stuff in here that I'm gonna go right up with, so that doesn't really help too much. We can sleep though. That's good. Boink. I need to put a safe drop down there of some kind. All right, so we need to find just gold. And uh, hey, Pickles are joining the game. Welcome. Got any gold I can buy? Oh, apparently one player's sleep isn't working. Oh, it is. It's just there. It goes. Okay, it's just going a bit slow. It's not as fast as it was, but still it's working, which is better, and I think the player head drops are working. Dang it. Oh, well. Oh, even better. How much you got? I need a bunch for powered rails. That's the problem with a server like this. Everybody's really nice. So when someone needs something, we just kind of give it to each other. Um, I did the same for him, so it's all good to go. Yep. They fixed rail duping. Unless there's a new rail dupe glitch. I'm going to go check for that, and I'll be right back. All right. I tried to dupe, and it didn't work. Um, so we're going to go towards the Pigglesworth. He's going to just give us gold. Yay, but I gave him a bunch of stuff last night. A couple picks, so... Um, I think I gave him, end up giving him Fortune 3 total, so... I think we're okay. Oops. Apparently I put a torch there. So we're gonna head over Mr. Pigglesworth. Gonna steal some uh, nice uh, gold from him. And uh, hopefully get this going, and then we should really need a gold farm. So hopefully we get a Silk Touch book, which we can get some turtle eggs, and then get turtles breeding, and then set up a gold farm in the nether... Um, because pigmen apparently also want to crush, um, turtle eggs, so that, that should work, I think. Now we just got to find Nash's portal. Um, which one is Nash's portal? In theory, it should be this way. Be by the giant ladder, because she has uh she has that. That's sausage's place. This is spun is this way, which it's not. There's gas ahead, which is definitely not good. Okay, there's Zoys, there's Pixes. I don't think we went the right, right way to, to Nash's. I really need to bring some arrows. I have a bow. There we go. Yeah, but lost. I'm at Pix's Zoy portal. Or is that the wrong way? Okay. <laughs> Headed back to spawn. That sausage. This way. He's going to nap before he meets me. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. All right, we found it. It's right by the spawn portal. So we're at Piggy's base here. Oh, let's hop out. We're going to follow these torches. 
than we're going to fell the Pigglesworth. Oh, he does have the, uh, hey, buddy. Um, he does have the uh, cactus area thingy. This seems kind of scary. Oops, whoops, I fell. There, I'll give him a gas here. <laughs> Pleasure doing business. Cool. This should get the village sort. So not sort or village. Yeah. Trading area working. Then you can test it out with trades. It's a win-win for everybody. His bed's in the middle of those. There, that's weird. All right, I'll head back and get the set. Okay, I wanted to build it over here, but according to our tutorial, we want to be facing east or west when we do it. So we can definitely make it in here, but it's going to be a big pain. So uh, I'm really glad he put that at the very beginning of the tutorial. So Mr. Uh, Frilov, Frilov, I'm, I can say it, but until I think about saying it, then I'm going to mess it up. Uh, so thank you for telling that at the very beginning of the tutorial. It is much appreciated. So we're actually just going to dig this out and build it here. So I think we'll have uh, brown coats and aprons on that side, and then we'll have clerics and librarians on this side. And then this could be used just for a... Uh, Storage area or enchanting area or something over here. I don't know. Uh, maybe more farms over here, possibly. We just stack a whole bunch of farms here uh, just to have it feed in. That could be cool. I don't know. So let's figure that out later. For now, we're just going to get this going. So for now, these guys are just going to chill back here. They're fine. We're going to get... How'd you get up here? You know, Go back down. Go. Go. Um, this is our center. So we're just going to make a, a five-gap opening on each side. I think that's going to be big enough. Or five gap opening. Get down there. Stay out. There we go. Let's keep running back and forth forever. All right. So we'll do a five gap opening. I think that'll be good. I don't know if we should make it bigger because let's let's check that real quick here. So this is where it'll be. So we'll have villagers here. They'll be sitting like right here, and they'll be right there. I think that's gonna be enough room between. The village on the east side, I think that'd be big enough here. So let's see, yeah, let's do that. Five gap opening total. All right, so I have a lot of digging out to do and a lot of basic stuff to do. Um, and a lot of the stuff's going to have to go behind a wall. So we're going to start it here. We just keep expanding nearly infinitely that way. We might eventually go underwater, and if we do, we'll surround it in glass. It'll look cool. All right, so for this, we got to get that, that, that. So we have to, uh, we had the layout in here. Let me go back to the tutorial, and I think I need a few blocks on each side of it. So. We do that so we'll start it in a bit i'm going to get the exact number and be back once we get some more progress okay done. it's six on both sides um, i'm not going to go through the whole tutorial obviously uh so let's do this here um you should definitely go check it out i'll try to put a link in the description if i don't please yell at me in the description so i do add it after the fact because i usually edit these all bunch all at once so uh, my apologies of not giving the proper credits so one two three one two three so this will be Walls on each side of that. Yeah, one, two, three. So this will be here. So it's going to be six blocks back. So one, two, three, four, five, six is where it's going to start. So this will be where the first villager goes. And to, I'll put a block of iron. I brought a bunch of iron. This will be where the first villager goes right here. Um, we're not going to use iron for building blocks. It's Though we have a ton of iron, we don't have that much iron yet. We're getting there. Uh, but this is just so I know where I had the first villager going so it'll fit within the wall. So we'll see how that looks. So if we come in here, we'll drop down, go boom. No, well, well, we won't be stuck in the thing. Hopefully we go out here and like, oh, first villager starts here. And then they have a whole bunch over there. Um, if that's the case, should I not get back one more? So we have one, two, three, five, seven total. Let's go back one more just to be safe. Because if it's a little too open in the middle, we can always like add a pattern or something cool in the middle. If it's not back far enough, then we have to re we have to move everything, and that's not going to be fun. Um, oh, I got to check the measurements too, because now that we're back here, we might be too close to the village because we're be on this side. Let me check that real quick, and we'll be back. 
Okay, it's eight blocks deep. So we should be okay. Right? Yeah, let's do math. We should be okay because we're going back eight. So we should be fine, but that means this guy maybe won't work. That should still work because that's going to be closer. We might just have to move the village breeder. Or we can move this whole thing this way. Because although we have the glass in there, that really just we can't reclaim the glass as all. But I kind of like having it right there at the portal. Because we definitely want to have it going this way and that way. But I don't want to go for too far that way. Hmm. This is why you should plan ahead, which is why I'm, we're glad we're actually re-watching the tutorial when we have the stuff in front of us. Um, if we move it this way a few, that'd be fine, but then we're going to deal with, uh, leave it as is. Worst, worst case, um, it's a pretty decent village breeder to, or pretty, not decent, it's a very good village breeder. It's a pretty easy village breeder to uh, to build once you know how with a great tutorial. Please go to Frilofs, even though I can't pronounce his names, uh, and subscribe. Um, we can always move this over a few or even out in the corner of the island there and just move the track. Because once we have the villagers here, we can just push them all into a water stream, get them all in the carts, get them into a new breeder. That's not too big of a deal. So that's not really a huge problem. I'd rather get them sorted first, and then we can move that down. But this should be fine. Um, in fact, no, wrong way. To be safe, let's actually build it on the other side just to be safe to get this. Ow! Make sure you hit the water. Um, but I have this here, so let's just do this here. All right, so we're going to get this going. Um, put these in hand here. Oop, I threw those. There we go. All right, so we'll get this figured out. Um, we'll end up putting this over. One, two, three. Yeah, three in the opening. Boom, one, two, three, and then they'll go here. All right, so we're going to put that here. We're going to build this side because it is further away. Just to be safe for now, and then we can add the other side after the fact. So we'll do this for now just to make sure we're far enough away and then if we need to move the village breeder, we can, and we'll go from there. Okay, all the planning. If you plan once, was it uh, measure twice, cut once. There we go, let's do that. Well, I'm almost done with it, I think. I, uh, where did they go? Um, I may have gone down here, I may have lost some stuff. Um, I followed the directions very carefully, and they said be very careful when you place the water. So I was, and I was just about done. So then I was trying to make the tracks go around here, and when I did, water came in um, from the outside. So I don't care how good your tutorial is. If you build next to water, make sure you block off the sides. Um, that was my stupid mistake. Oopsies. So I've lost some comparators. I don't know where they went because they just, you know, hit here and I got them within, you know, a few seconds. But apparently two disappeared. So I can make some two more real quick here. Um, so we need six redstone lamps, which we won't have any sticks is the problem. So one, two, boink. One, two, three, four, five, six. You ain't oh, We don't have room for those. Throw those there for now. Two comparators. Put these down real quick. I think we have this working. Boom, boom. And then the rail's just going to go around here, up to here. Okay, good. I can break that safely now. We're still really short on gold is our biggest problem. Oh, we should really go up one. Let's do that here. And we'll encase this all later. But if we're going to go up, let's go up here. That's fine. That's fine. The water's already blocked. We're okay. There we go. We'll put one more powered rail just to be safe. Let's use this. I think we have it. Oh, we have to go out one more. So let's fill this in all the way. Okay, I'm going to try this with a few nitwits just to test it out. And we'll get this enclosed too. We'll uh, put glass or something around here just to make sure we have it. So we'll get that going in a bit here. Oh, Pigglesworth is doing a camera account. I mean, nothing. All right, let me know in the comments if you want to hear a one-hour rambling of me, Mr. Picklesworth, and Zloy talking about Batman movies and other random Mel Brooks stuff. Um, we just, they are, I was getting this done while talking to them. They weren't even here, uh, but both of them did supply a lot of the gold. So if you want to hear that, let me know. Um, it was, I thought it was entertaining. There is some swearing, uh, and I'm probably not going to be bothered to edit it out. But we're done, I think, finally, where... 
Now we have it on safe. The light is on, we're good, because it's going to block them. If the light is off, then they would go to the kill chamber. I don't have it feeding back to the system yet. I still got to work on that. Uh, I just want to make sure this is functional. So right now they're safe, because the light's on. Uh, so we're going to throw this on. I'm going to put a button on here so no one does anything by accident. We drop him down. He'll fall through. He'll go up and around, and he'll end up back in the sorting system, I hope. I think it's going to drop him in. It was getting, yeah, okay, they do go in. Sometimes he did get stuck, but that's because actually I broke some water and he fell on the track. So he should come up here. He should fall in. Should, the string should set it off, and he should be safe and snug in there. Looks like he might have taken some damage there. I don't know. Uh, we don't care that much because we don't care if this guy lizard dies. We're actually about to kill him here. So we're just going to check this out and see if this guy dies or not. So let's go check that. He's going to bounce that way and come back this way. He did not. That's a problem. Okay, he should have come back this way. I think I may have knocked out some of the redstone. Yeah, that should have moved forward. Why did it not? Because that's powering that. Oh, I think I put a block up here. So we actually need two blocks. I don't know. Ooh, I don't have. Let's make some right there. Boom. Okay. Uh, so let's put that here and here, and let's put this here and here. No, that didn't work either. This should be moving the piston. We have to put it one lower, right on top of it. Why is that not moving? Oh, there's a track there. Oh, so this is in the wrong spot. So I have to move the track one lower. So let's pull this. We'll break this guy here. If we drop him down, that should be fine. And drop it back up. Then if we turn... So this should be power. There we go. So that'll be fine. So it won't hurt them. If we break that, they'll come through just fine. They won't take any damage. That's good. But then if we have this, they should bounce off the top there and head back. I think we put stairs there. They won't take any damage. It was, was in the good tutorial, but I honestly couldn't be bothered. Um, so this will do work that. Mr. Piggles is sleeping. So this will allow him to come back. Let's confirm it works without him taking damage here. He didn't. He might have taken damage there. I'm not sure why. Maybe the trap doors? Or maybe it just shows red, but he's not actually taking damage. Um, they won't be moved that much, so I don't think it's that big of a deal. And we can always throw healing potions on him at some point. So he should fall in here to go back. Okay, I didn't see him take damage that time, but I wasn't looking too close. This will open this up. Now, he should take damage and die on this. <laughs> so, let's see what happens. He should bounce off there. Boom, boom, good. He's going to come down this way. And he should actually suffocate within the blocks here. Sorry, buddy. It's for science. Oops, we're not supposed to go here. We're supposed to go this way. Um, here it is. Then I have a cactus down here for the rail track once it gets picked up. Yeah, he died. So this is how we get rid of the villagers. It goes on here, and then we pick this up. And this will eventually go into... Oh, we give a cactus farm now, too. Um, this will eventually go into the uh, um, village breeder over there, which we, we may end up moving if this is too close. Uh, but for now, we're going to keep this on here, so they're going to be safe. In fact, if we take this off... That, no, that disables it, so we definitely don't want to do that. So we might want to re even reverse this, where we put it over there and we flip it. So when it's, so if it's unpowered, they'll live. So we might change up the design on that. Um, if it's a single player world and no one else is using this, then um, the design that Mr. Frilith, Frilith I, can't, I try, man, I'm sorry. <laughs> Go subscribe to him, he's awesome. Um, I can't say his name, but he's awesome. Um, because I'm trying too hard. If you, uh, let's break just that with the pig a little slower, but um, we won't break the thing by accident. Yeah, if you, uh, I might want to flip it over there, just based on the way I have it, so it'll always be on. So even though we'll take the le lever off, it'll reverse it. So when it's not powered, it's safer. So it, it's a fail, well, it fail safe. So if it fails, it's in a safe position. So we might want to change that. Um, but <laughs> that's the only thing I would change based working on a server with lots of people who may be flipping stuff by accident not knowing what it does. Should really put a sign up too, but uh, so we might want to change that. But other than that, this design is essentially just I mean it's amazing. I don't know if it's perfect, but it works really, really well so far. 
Uh, but we need to get more guys in there. So let's send a whole bunch up. We'll get them sorted, get them unlocked, get this thing working a little bit better and get rid of those we don't need because now we can actually just get rid of the ones who we just don't need. So I'm just going to get them all in here and we'll call it there. So thank you for watching as always. Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, subscribe. Uh, do go to subscribe to Mr. Fr Fry. Fr uh, we can't want to call him Frylock. Stupid Aqua Teen Hunger Force. I love that show. Um, it's not a medicine insult, man, uh, if you're watching. Um, but, uh, yeah, so let me know if I made any mistakes on your build. I'm sure I did. Uh, go subscribe to check out some of his awesome tutorials and videos. Uh, other than that, we will see you in the next one. Also go to donate.nobodyslp.com to help support Extra Life. Again, all proceeds, all actually everything from that you donate to there goes straight to Extra Life. I don't take a cut. It doesn't go to me, and I promise to send to them. It goes directly to them. If you use the link at donate.nobodyslp.com, and everybody else on Decidedly Vanilla at decidedlyvanilla.com, and we will see you in the next one. Bye bye. Come on, guys, go. Go. go, go, go.